Uh, I'm going to present this short talk, Building Asynchronous SNMP Agents. My name is Ilya Itengov. I work for Red Hat. I'm on the OpenStack team. But besides that, I have this uh, long-term hobby, all things SNMP. In this, in this talk, I'm going to argue that SNMP is still relevant and present um, a, a new tool called SNMP Responder aimed at simplifying the integration of custom data sources with uh, SNMP agents. Uh, and I will try to conclude this talk with a simple workflow, example workflow. Uh, despite many attempts to displace, and successful attempts to displace SNMP from the uh, role of the single network management protocol, SNMP is still quite popular in monitoring applications. Uh, perhaps b because people understand it well, because the, the protocol has been around for a long time, the other reason may be because we have so many MIBs, so many sources of structured information to, to reuse. Uh, imagine this use case. You have a network monitored by SNMP. And uh, everything is an SNMP. NMS, for instance, is, is SNMP-based. And you've got new hardware. This new hardware is not, doesn't, doesn't contain SNMP agent, so you can't monitor it with SNMP. Uh, but it offers REST API. So what, what can you possibly do about this? Uh, the solution I'm, I'm trying to propose is to stand up a, some sort of mediation proxy which works as an SNMP agent on one side and which can feed on your custom data sources. The workflow of setting up this mediation proxy would be like this. You, 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 you take a MIP file, you compile it into Python code with hooks. You populate th these hooks with uh, your custom code to get data from your data source, and then you feed this Pythonized MIP to this SNMP responder tool, and you, you get it on SNMP on the network. Uh, now, the workflow, so you have, you have this REST API. Let's say it's a uh, bare metal server serving Redfish protocol. Uh, you can get REST call. You can have this REST call, and it returns lots of data. Let's focus on this hostname field. Uh, hostname stands for hostname, so SNMP already offers something similar for that. Uh, Sysname, sys managed object uh, from the SNMP v2 MIP. Uh, this is how it looks like in the, in, in the MIP. Now, we, we can use the PySMA project to compile the MIP, MIP file into Python snippet. This Python snippet would, would look like this. Then you basically just add the REST API call into this, into this, um, into this code, uh, and uh, preferably do it from a thread so that the whole thing would be non-blocking and uh, uh, it could work asynchronously and highly concurrently. Uh, next, you just uh, pip install the tool, SNMP responder, and feed the, this Pythonized MIP, this MIP implementation, to it by just copying the Python file. Once you have it started, you can just, you know, SNMP get it, and you get the, the, the result from the REST API call. Uh, to summarize, SNMP is still quite, quite widely used, but getting it hooked on the, on the custom data, data sources seems to be a pain. This SNMP respond, responder tool is hopefully could help, help, help integrating these custom data sources with uh, standard SNMP agents. Once you have it up and running, you can uh, use all SNMP features, all SNMP versus encryptions, strong encryption uh, for, for SNMP management. And um, this uh, SNMP responder tool, responder tool is uh, designed as an, as, a, as an asynchronous engine. Therefore, it's highly concurrent and uh, hopefully would be able to serve high load. Um, so that's probably it. Questions? There's no time, sorry. All right. Uh.